Hello EA Technology fans. This is George coming to you from our lobby in the US office in New Jersey to talk to you about an important subject when you're doing testing with the UltraTev Plus 2 and that has to do with the power frequency uh, lock. So uh, for example here in the US uh, it's 60 Hertz but we need to get it uh, more accurate uh, to the decimal so that your phase resolve plots uh, show up correctly and as well as the algorithm that tells you if you have PD, noise, uh, that algorithm depends on a proper phase uh, frequency lock. So there's two sensors that are built into the unit. Uh, so on the top there's a photo sensor. So that you would use when you have fluorescent lighting. So for example here I have uh, 60.01 Hertz and it's uh, giving me a white color, so that's indicating that it's uh, locked. So I'm in good shape. Uh, if for some reason you're do working outside or you don't have fluorescent lighting, uh, then there is an E-field sensor built into the unit. And you would uh, activate that sensor uh, if you're out in the substation, for example. And uh, if finally, if that doesn't work, there's a way to input it manually. And it's important so that, again, your phase resolve plots and algorithm uh, show up correctly. So let's look at the following slides here to show you the steps in actually uh, uh, changing from photo sensor to E-field. So let's say you're doing an ultrasonic measurement and you're in the menu for a phase resolve plot. On the bottom of the display, on the left-hand side, there's a little uh, icon that looks like sliders. Press the, the uh, button underneath it, and you'll see a little menu pop up. In the menu, uh, you can select the icon, just press on the display, the icon that's got the little plug. And there, uh, the default will be photo sensor, and then you can change it to e-field sensor. Now, if you uh, need to go to manual, that's also there, so you could press manual. And when you press manual, the screen will, will clear and you'll see the phase resolve plot again. And on the far left and far right will be a negative sign and a plus sign to lower and raise the value of the frequency so you can make adjustments incrementally. And then when you're satisfied to the point what you want, uh, in the middle button, there's a little check mark. You press that button to lock it into place. So that's how you would uh, set up a manual phase uh, reference point. Now, the uh, color scheme will change if you're not locked at all. If you have it on, on photo or e-field and it's not locked, the value will become red. And if you're uh, in manual, the value is amber to give you a reminder that you have it in manual mode. And so that explains how to actually uh, do the, the uh, phase uh, frequency reference. And uh, we have a document that further explains it beyond the instruction manual. If uh, you could download it on our website or uh, feel free to contact us for uh, further help. Thank you.